Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mund and today we will learn and solve exercise 11b questions 1 to 12 of chapter 11. Chapter name is Understanding Elementary Shapes of Class 6 of Composite Mathematics Textbook. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn and solve exercise 11b questions 1 to 12 of chapter 11. Chapter name is understanding elementary shapes and topics are protractor and topic and types of angles. Let's solve some questions. Now question number 6. Tell what uh, tell whether each statement below is true or false. First bit is if two angles are acute, their measurement must be equal. If two angles are acute, their measurement must be equal. No, this is false. They can be different. Different measurement. So, this is false. Now, question number second bit. If an angle measures 45 degree, it is acute. This is true or false. We know the angle which is more than 0 degree but less than 90 degree is acute angle. So, the angle 45 degree is an acute angle. Forty five is more than zero degree and less than ninety degree. So forty five degree is an acute angle. This is true. This is true. Now question number third B. If one angle is acute. The other is obtuse. The measure of the second is larger than the first. If one angle is acute, acute angle is more than 0 degree but less than 90 degree and obtuse angle is more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree. So, obtuse angle is more than acute angle. So, obtuse angle is greater than acute angle. So, the measure of the second that is obtuse angle is larger than the first angle that is acute angle. This is true. Now, question number fourth bit. If an angle has a measure twice that of an acute angle, it must be obtuse. If the acute angle is 90 degree, then it will be true. 2 multiplied by 90 which is 180 degree. 80 degree if the acute angle is 80 degree that is 2 multiplied by 80 degree which is 160 degree. 160 degree is an obtuse angle this is true. But in case of 40, 40 degree 40 degree multiplied with 2 is 80 degree. And 80 degree is not an obtuse angle. So, in, so it is not true. So, it is false. If an angle has a measure twice that of an acute angle, it must be obtuse. It, it, can, it can never be obtuse. It can be obtuse and it can be acute also. So, it is false. So, if an angle has a measure twice that of an acute angle, it must be obtuse. It is false. Now, question number 50. The angle between the direction north and south is a right angle. This is north, east, south, west. The angle between north and south. This is north and this is south. This is straight angle. The angle is 180 degree. So, this is straight angle. So, this is false. Because it is right angle, this is false. 
so the angle between the direction north and south is a right angle this is false it will be a straight angle If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel then please subscribe my YouTube channel and if you have any doubt then please write in comment section and I will reply. Keep learning, keep watching and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you.